Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the periodic table. So go ahead, look through the agenda, the attendance. Yes, I watched the instruction video, all that good stuff. And then um, there is a video on the origin of the periodic table if you want to watch that. Uh, otherwise, flip through today's uh, daily slides. Uh, and then answer some questions about the periodic table and then also the different parts of an atom. And then we're going to do a Kami assignment today instead of a Google assignment. So open up this assignment. It'll bring you here. If you haven't used Kami before, uh, for this assignment, the way you're going to get to it is there is this open assignment with Kami button. Uh, yours might be here. It might be over here. But find that button, open assignment with Kami. Click that, it'll open up here to a Kami assignment. Um, if you are someone who doesn't have this little blue Kami button up here, uh, the way that you're going to do it, or I guess maybe better, if you don't have this open assignment with Kami button, what you're going to do instead is you're going to download this PDF. You're going to click new tab. You're going to go to KamiApp.com. And then you're going to sign in, the sign in button over there. Then you're going to open from computer. You're going to find that uh, um, thing that you just downloaded. You're going to open that. You're going to wait for it to load. <laughs> and that's how you're going to get to it. Awesome. So that's if you do not have this open with Kami button. If you have that button, all you have to do is click it and it'll get you right here. Then for Kami, uh, for this assignment, you are going to be basically taking a look at this blank periodic table reading the three steps here right here and yes there is a typo that should say three not four um and filling this in so like for step one label the periods one through seven groups one through 18 one of those is the rows one of those is the groups and so you will take uh, uh probably the text box and click it over here and say label that one and then label that two and so on and so forth Next up, standard state, state of matter at room temperature. Ooh, another thing in this assignment, there is this click here, pair table link. Open that link. That's where you're going to get all the information that you need for this assignment. Uh, and so look in here for the room temperature. You'll notice over here it says solids, liquids, and gases. And then also there's an unknown category. Uh, for this, solids are black, liquids are blue, gases are red. What I ask you to do is put a red box around each element that is gas, blue around each element that is liquid, black around each element that is solid. So you're going to go here and let's take a look first at, say, like hydrogen. So hydrogen, it has that red symbol, meaning that it is a gas at room temperature. Another way you can figure that out is over here you can click on hydrogen and it says at zero. You can see it is a gas. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take probably this shape, insert rectangle, I want to make sure it's red, and I'm going to put this rectangle around hydrogen. I'm going to do that for each one. You can also see here in this color key, it says solids are black, liquids are blue, and gases are red. I'm going to press control Z to undo that. So I'm going to do that for each one. Then for groups in the color key, assign a color to the 10 groups. Alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, post-transition metals, halogens, noble gases, lanthanoids or lanthanides, actinoids or actinides, metalloids, and reactive nonmetals. Anything not in those categories can be shaded gray. And then fill in the elements of each group the color you assigned it. So we see up here this lovely box so like alkaline metals. So let's look at our periodic table. And look over here, ooh, alkali metals. Look, these are all of our alkali metals right there. Oh, and then because I clicked on it, it's gonna give me more information. So if you wanna read that, you can, you don't have to. It's the Wikipedia page for alkali metals. But basically I can go over this and I can see which one are the alkali metals. It's that first column over there. 
So I'm going to go back to my cami. I'm going to pick a color, probably use the highlighter markup. And oh, that blue seems like a good color. So I'm going to make this blue. Oops. Let me try to make it more in the box. So I'm going to make that blue. And then I'm going to make each of these blue. And I'm going to go so on and so forth with all of these. Um, and you'll be able to see each one of these groups at the top and know which one of these groups it is. And so that's what you're doing for all of this. Once you have finished everything on here, the way you turn in a Kami assignment is that there's literally a turn in button right here. So go ahead and turn that in. Um, it'll bring you back to Schoology and you'll just have to press, press submit once you're back at Schoology. If you are someone who doesn't have this Kami button and you had to go kind of the background way to get here, what you're gonna do is you're going to download it and then once you have downloaded it, there's going to be a submit assignment button right here. And you're going to click submit assignment and submit that downloaded assignment. And that's for your Kami assignment for today. If you still are confused because you've never used a Kami before, let me know and I can help you out even more. And then your extension today is that there is an elements quizlet that has all 118 elements on there. See if you can memorize the element and its abbreviation. So like hydrogen is H, oxygen is O, carbon is C, but then some of them are weird. Tungsten is W. There's not a W in tungsten. So see if you can memorize all 118 of those. Then you have your star slides and all of this review answers and you are done. If you have any questions, as always, let me know and have a great day. Bye.